we're here in Malaga in Spain and once more with Motomart. How are Very you? Very good to see you again. I think the last time we drove together was here. It was here but you were in the back seat. Yeah, I remember, and I pulled out of there like because we were demonstrating like they actually what was the Mercedes Benz C coupe. coupe. That actually has some enough room back there at least for someone well, like. You could fit how tall are you? Yeah, five eight, something like that. And you I mean, fit? Yeah, it was fine. I mean, I, I drove back there for a couple hours maybe, but or or less, but still it was good. But now we're in a completely different yeah. car. Completely. In in many ways. I think I'm, it's very nice of me to let you drive in this car. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, we're driving the new S90 from Volvo. This is the second car of uh, totally the new era just of Volvo. Just a reimagination yeah. of Volvo. And for people watching, Volvo was like pretty much dead, bankrupt, like only like I 10 say years bankrupt. ago. I mean, they were, I mean, they, they weren't they, bankrupt. It was Ford just was done. Ford said we yeah, gotta but, sell it. Yeah, but when they went on their own, they they were, the, I mean, I haven't said completely bankrupt, yeah. but they're close to it. I mean, like they didn't have any product. I mean, they didn't have well, any. It, Ford was starving it of investment. It, there was never a point when it was on their own. It yeah. was Ford sold to Geely, and then Geely st literally took the time to stand back and said, what are we doing with this? And exactly. I gotta take my hat off to them because they when they took the approach of you know what we're not going to jump in right away we're going to do the right thing exactly and here we are and let with the car people who, two. yeah let the people who know how to do this thing do it same case that That's happened with La, with uh, Land Rover and Jaguar I exactly the same thing Tata came from India yeah. and people said what India is going to own it? yeah and this is China it's a Chinese company but they put the money they give the they give their resources exactly. and they let the Swedish people do what they I would they, argue that this is a a better interpretation yeah of the probably and and it's it's just started i mean because exactly. the xc90 just debuted last year this is the second car they have like they say that this is going to be the oldest car by 1919 so oh that was the xc90 the, the xc9 car. exactly but that's like, amazing in, in less than five years they so they showed a chart today it was very funny do you remember that chart where they showed where it was the old their their average product life was almost I seven know, years. years and by 2018 the oldest car will be one, one year, year. So the company has transformed itself and this car really is like a really great example of, of what they've done. This car is not only beautiful in and out, I mean the design I is like, tell you, it's I, like incredible. Elegance is not lightly used in this car. Exactly, no, and, and, and every material, everywhere you touch, everywhere you see, everywhere you see it. And I, I love this little thing. Oh, the Swedish thing? <laughs> So the a little funny, black there. The funny like, story with that, Tish, who runs design, yeah. interior design for Volvo, her thought process, and in her background, I don't know if you know this, she is Swedish. I know. Although she, she's American. She lived in the, in the U.S. for the longest yeah, time. And yeah, and she speaks fluent Swedish yeah. without an accent and English without an accent. Looks like she's a California surfer. I know. She grew yeah. up yeah. on the beaches. Anyway, her logic was, what happens when you look back to the back seat when you have a kid, because you're going to have a kid with yeah. a car like this, do you want to see that little touch I know. Of its of its heritage here. I know. And I thought, you know what? That is a neat idea. And and made Sweden proud again of this car because the company again was in really bad shape. And like now, by coincidence, we we're driving here in Malaga. That was and this start. area of Spain is or you, you can see beautiful it's weather Brits pretty much or exactly. Spaniards and that's it. A little bit of German and that's Little it. Bit. But then we stop by the side of the road and this guy comes out and says, like, can I see? I have to see the car? He says. And I said, in I Spanish. Want. In Spanish, he said, I have to see the car. So I said, like. In Espanol, I, I told him, yeah, ven y verlo. And then the guy gets out of his car and tells us that he's from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you could see in his face how proud. So proud, exactly. How proud and happy to see it. And like, he's been living here for 18 years, he said. Almost to the point where I think he might want to move back. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, <laughs> bring one of these cars here for him. So, um, the other. Jacob. Good, no, uh, was, oh, oh, Jasper Jacobs. Jasper Jacobs. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper Jacobs. Jacobs. Good man, Jasper yeah. Jacobs. Here's a picture that Motorman took uh, of him. So, one of the many beautiful and like really intelligent things that they have put in this car is AC in the glove compartment. Isn't that incredible? I mean, like, look at this. My phones were so hot, I had to put them in yeah, the cold. Yeah, it's like down. almost 40 degrees. I mean, uh, yeah, it's 37 Celsius. degrees exactly. Celsius here. But this so, is cold. Feel exactly, that. it's cold because it, there's AC, and then some people think, why would they put that? Isn't I mean, cool? there's many, many things that you can think about. And for example, even like some food, maybe that you can put like oh, yeah. some fruit that can be saved. It's not a refrigerator. Well, no, it's, it's not a refrigerator. Cold enough to keep things safe. And Let's like, call it a chiller. I think chiller, that's the best well, way to describe it. Yeah, it's an AC. 
AC glove box, which is pretty, pretty See what smart comes out of the glove box? I know. A little, everything. like, napkin. So yeah, they think of up. everything. Yeah, yeah, literally. And so this way, because you're going to get all your fingerprints here, you just clean it all up here. Yeah, because the car is so beautiful. I mean, all the, this oh, wood man. detail, all this leather on top of here. Tish did a beautiful job yeah, on I know. this. And this, uh, this natural open pour wood, oh my god. Super Santa elegant Maria, car. I know, super elegant car, but also very practical and very easy to use. All the technology is amazing. This beautiful new screen that we already saw on the XC90. Yeah. And that has like the four panels, and you can put the auto car play and all the technology that, that really, really has put Volvo back into business pretty oh, much, right? I, I mean, the company was dead pretty much. The company was on its last legs in terms of innovation. But look at what they've done. This is not put them back in business. This they've leapfrogged exactly. technology. Because who else has been doing this portrait type iPad screen? The only others, believe it or not, is Tesla, McLaren. Or the Tesla that well, is the Tesla huge. 17 inches. I know, I know. Yeah. But like, if you want to compare it to something like it's really advanced, that will, the only thing that you can really sort of kind of compare it to, no? I, uh, you know, the Tesla is almost overkill here. No, of course. Of I think course. the screen is too big to the point where people are smashing the front of those cars. <laughs> I think this is just right. I know. And then look at the. You know, I'm a design freak. Let me show you some details. Look at these blades yeah. here that Tish put in the design of the vents here. All of them have it. Yeah. And then these knurled little knobs exactly. here to turn on and off the vent. And all the lines that are like oh. repeated in every. Part Just of the stunning. car, like like for example, he's a smaller example of that, but he's yeah. like a scale of that, but it really looks really beautiful. And then this piece is all one piece of aluminum, of satin aluminum. Usually in manufacturing, this would actually have to be three pieces. They'd have to have a joint there, a joint there, and a joint there. But instead, it's one piece. The other thing with Volvo, besides yeah. design, we already covered very. I mean, we're not gonna give enough credit to whatever. I mean, the years of work on that, but like. In a few seconds that but we have seen and experienced is beautiful the other good story or interesting story with Volvo is like pouring four cylinder engines turbo I mean, so that's, that's an interesting strategy they took when when they came in I don't know if you're aware of this but the guy who runs engineering came from BMW yeah and his idea was we have six engines which was too complex yeah so instead of doing the six engines let's bring it down to two and the logic was two for everything from a, yeah. a, the 30 series car all the way to this, the big 90 the series 90. car. And the way they did that was everything from a three cylinder and then a three cylinder diesel, a four cylinder and a four cylinder diesel. But think about this, this is a 3,800 pound car, I man. I need and that move. wagon's gonna be yeah. 4,500 pounds. You, they didn't tell us, but I mark, you mark my words, 4,500 pounds. Absolutely. And that car is being powered by a four-cylinder that has a supercharger and a turbocharger, and the logic is use the supercharger for the low-end torque, and then have the turbocharger coming for the efficiency at the high end. And later on, they're gonna add, like they have done with the XC90, the hybrid, plug-in hybrid version, which like adds even more power and more efficiency and all those kind but of things. But isn't it cool when they do it? It's yeah, not exactly. just a plug-in hybrid like a Toyota. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not like a serial. What they do is they, they the, the, the motor only runs the rear. Yeah. And then there's a starter generator motor which adds boost to the front. Just a fascinating technology. Yeah. You drove that T8, didn't you? The yeah, XC9. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And um, the other great thing with Volvo is known for safety for years. I mean, they invented this thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three, they did. Three point yeah. seat belt. Back in the and, 50s. Yeah, and now they have put like it's. They, they, they talk about five stages of autonomous driving. We yeah. are like currently the market is experiencing number two, which is this, which means that you're in control. The car can do a lot, but you're still in control. Yeah. And they actually gonna try, they're gonna skip what it's called level three, in which you still have to react. Like really, you trust the car, but you have to react very quickly. And sometimes yeah. it's not gonna happen. So they gotta skip that completely. And next year they're gonna try completely autonomous driving, real street, real traffic, real people in Sweden. But this car already has this feature, which is called pilot oh, assist. Nice. So you just turn it on here on the dash, you can adjust the speed, and then like the car pretty Drive much itself. drives itself, depending on how the lines are marked on the, on the road. You can go for up to 15 seconds without even touching the wheel. I yeah, mean, you will start. It. Cross your arms. You will start yelling try at me. Try to trust. Me. No, look at us. You have to, and there's traffic coming in the other it's side. It's tough, right? 
Uh, yeah, but like the technology works. Obviously, and now it's yelling. you have to put it back, your, your hands on the wheel. But this is amazing because terms like, like yeah, lawyers pretty much wouldn't allow them to call it already. Yeah. Like a self-driven car. But no, it is. they can't. But it is. Well, in a way, in certain circumstances. The, the best way to describe this, this is a crippled autonomous car. Yeah, absolutely. It is yeah. crippled by design. And you know what? You really can't even give that much garbage to lawyers because they don't yeah, know what they I don't know. know. There's no, there's no legislation. I mean, the U.S. I think there's 15 different states who have different ideas on yeah. how to implement it. There's no infrastructure, so everything has to come together. It's going to take a while, but we can see that the technology is already there. I mean, yeah. they can do it. I mean, every manufacturer, well, pretty much, like the big manufacturers, can can do this, and like they're getting ready for whenever there the are rest is ready. small pilot programs that have been approved for public roads only in San Francisco and yeah. San Mateo County. And Google, I think, uh, Google. got a got a, a, a the driver's license in Vegas like years ago. Yeah. So there's like some progress in that area, but like this is reality. I mean, this is today, 2016. Uh, there, there are effectively three cars you could buy with this. There's this. Yeah. There's the Mercedes S Class, and then of course the Tesla. Yeah. There's a modified version of the Audi which doesn't work as well as this. Yeah. But I would argue I've driven all three, and it is the, the, the Tesla is by far the most autonomous. But I would argue this one is probably very easy to use, but it's also it's most integrated into the car. Yeah, absolutely. Can I just point out there's a big bowl? A oh, yeah. That's bowl. the Osborne bowl. That's like the Osborne uh, brandy uh, maker here from Spain. That's a very famous thing, and that's the way they advertise because there, when when advertisement for liquor was was illegal, they said okay. They put just the logo of the brandy That's everywhere it. on the road. Was was there a prohibition here in Spain? Like there wasn't. No, the there US? wasn't prohibition, but they were like allowed them to like make ads about alcohol. So, so that's a like way. The that's like you see the guy, exactly, but not the exactly. So you, we see the bull here in in Spain. Well, so go. anyway, um, prepare to keep right. She's yelling at you. Yeah. So obviously navigation, uh, up, Apple CarPlay, pretty much everything that is available over there is in this car. Okay. It has to be that one of the most advanced. The E-Class, the new E-Class, they yeah. claim to be the most you intelligent car. Drive that next Please week. keep yeah. right in 400 meters that. onto the A45. So we're gonna keep uh, enjoying the hills above uh, Malaga here. And um, Can I get so, out on some detail stuff? I wanna yeah, show you? Yeah. Look at the now start keep right. button. Oh yeah. It's not a button, it's a, it's a knob. A knob, yeah. You, that's, you, you, you turn it that, to start the car. The new way to start the car, yeah. So I like, again, awesome. it's like full, full. I mean, we could spend like the oh, hours. whole day, hours, the wood. talking about oh. everything. So so I guess we're going to have to make turn if possible. a rule that we're going to have to drive in Malaga when we go uh, yeah. to Malaga. So you cannot drive with your girlfriend. I think you're going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I can go a little bit. <laughs> you are going completely the wrong way. Okay, this didn't happen on camera. So, I guess we're gonna have to make a rule because when we, since the last time we so we drove together was in Malaga, the next time we come to Malaga, we we'll have to. Be, yeah. <laughs> Thank Thank you. You, next time you go in the back seat. Right? Well, maybe you go in the back seat <laughs> or in the trunk, even better. Now keep right. That's Jill's job. <laughs>